guys, it's Sean Thompson here and welcome back to episode 30 of our trucking series. Right now we are 30 miles away from MM Acquisitions in Preston and today we're picking up our brand new step frame trailer and I am absolutely buzzing. If you are new here to the channel, feel free to consider subscribing. We upload every Wednesday at 7.30 UK time and of course 7.30 UK time on a Saturday as well. And it's pretty much just all trucking content. Don't fall through. Let's get in to this week's video. Oh, right, it's been a couple of minutes since the last uh, fuel stop we did here, and here we are. I am buzzing. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm honestly fing wrecked in there. <laughs> just over there, somewhere in that mix of trailers, is our new trailer. So, we've told, been told just to back into this yard and wait. He's making room in that yard, so we'll reverse in and do whatever we're doing to load them all up. It'll be good. And they're just moving this wee red one forward here. They've just picked up the shunner. I think that trailer right there looks goddamn sexual. Cheesy beeps, man. <laughs> here she fing comes. Oh Jesus! Oh, that is fucking gorgeous! <laughs> oh no way! That is bro! Oh cheesy peeps, man! Cheesy peeps, man! This is fucking gorgeous! Oh fuck! Stunning! Absolutely stunning! She is all loaded, the other camera switched off due to heat, so I don't know where we're at. But all loaded and ready to go. What a fucking trailer. <laughs> oh mate, I don't know how close that is. I think we're in at 59, so there's uh, not a lot to play with, but fuck me Christ. Oh, <laughs> this is a momentous occasion for the trailer. It's first time across the Scottish border. Oh, <laughs> oh she's home. Fucking hell. Oh, cheesy peeps, man. That must have been your airbag, eh? 
Ah, it was. Oh, does it get a nice bit of fucking red paint on it now? I know. <laughs> I do that for free. <laughs> right, there she is. Back at the yard. She is fucking gorgeous, by the way. Marker boards. Extender with this wee bolster that actually moves uh, between it. So it extends here. We can move this wee bit here back and forth. We can see the split trailer. <laughs> Outriggers, the only thing I'm annoyed about, or at least don't know about, is it didn't come with outrigger boards. I feel like if you're buying a new trailer, the outrigger boards should be somewhere, but I can't see them. So there's that, I'll phone them Monday, or phone them tomorrow and see what's happening with that. The is gorgeous. I'm just going to go ahead and get it all set up, put my chains on it, my straps on it, get it all ready for the first day of work. So the two add-ons we did was uh, reversing lights here, so I actually stole this idea from the Scotch Trailer, it has reverse lights there and on the back. From using the Scotch Trailer, they've been handy as anything, so I've went ahead and done the same with mine. Although I believe these reverse ones here are stock, uh, they come with the trailer. So we just added ones onto the side. Back markers, uh, obviously they come out and stuff, chains for the ramps, although I'll probably end up switching into straps. Quite weird wee dwangs that come with it. And of course the first scratch that Big George put on it, so. I think that's better. A nice wee locker in here. Oh yeah, we did add a winch. I forgot to show you that. Ugh. A lot of the stuff we do is export and all that jazz. So I thought a winch would be a handy idea. So we went ahead and got a rhino winch installed straight into it. And that runs off the Anderson. We've got a spare in the front. We'll see how that works. I might take that off if it gets in the way of loads. And then of course we've got these panels that go around it. I can't really decide if I want to keep them. I might keep them in the lorry. Oh, I just don't know. And I've also got a wee mud flap here as well, which can fit under the back. And again, I don't know what I'm doing with that. So quickly get our straps on, get it all tidied out, just get it ready for its first shift. It was some fucking trailer, eh? Some trailer. Right, you're just going to sort our cupboard out here. We'll get the rhino winch cover. We're going to quickly stick on a couple of remotes. Uh, we've also got a couple of spare Anderson leads. It's a NATO hook or whatever George was saying. Yeah, the hook's on the back of the trailer. Um, so we'll need to find somewhere to store that. So I'm going to put all my straps in here uh, to save me using my... I'll still keep straps in my side locker, but just to save me scratch my side of this truck by pulling straps all the time. Uh, so empty all this out. So it looks like there will be posts to hold that bed in. I think it's some more posts, some more ratchets. I believe they might be replacements for the back of that. Uh, instructions. Big beacon. Some bolts for the mud flap. We've got everything we need in here, eh? This would be a good wee strap storage bin though. That might not be pretty, but that's pretty rammed. Ratchets on this side and then them all stacked up in the back. And just those three there, those are the four short ones. And those three there just to stop all the ratchets moving. There's a fair amount of ratchets in there. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, times to 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21. Not bad. We can do a couple more ratchets. We're loan ratchets now. Uh, but we'll get a couple more for that locker in there and keep maybe like 10 or so in there as spares. But at least we've got the majority of the ones we use day to day in here. There's also a couple in there that can do we get thrown out, if I'm being honest. But I'll wait until we've got some more ratchets before we start doing, or some more straps before we start doing that. Lovely. Now we've just got to find a place for this shite. All right, so it's been maybe an hour now since our last bit and we have it now sorted the whole trailer. We've got obviously all our ratchet straps on one side. The only thing we haven't done is look at this flap. I might come in tomorrow and fit that because I'm off tomorrow for take my car to prom. So I might fit this tomorrow. But as you can see, we've done our ramps, all our chains are secured in there as well. Everything we need, we'll set this back up. We're just going to go ahead and put a little padlock on the bottom of it. Take this truck down to Volvo for its six week safety because it is out tomorrow. Tomorrow is its last possible day it can be on the road without six week safeties. So it needs to be done tomorrow. But look at that, look how nice it looks out clean. So chicken tins out there. We've also got to fix that because I was going to, that's taking a girl to prom tomorrow. And as you can see, we had a wee bit of a bird strike last Monday. So we've got a new grill ordered for that. So hopefully we should get that sorted. It's all nice and clean now, ready for Volvo for a six week safety. There she is, dropped off at Volvo for a six week safety. The Jaws, I feel like there's a wee bit of play in, even Big George was saying that, as a wee bit of play in my Jaws of the lorry, the fifth wheel Jaws. So hopefully have a look at that. And other than that, everything's nice and dandy. There we go, big Volvo Air. And that's us done for the night. A wee 10 18 finish. Uh, tomorrow we'll get a day off. Well, I say we'll get a day off, we'll get a day in the yard doing stuff. Uh, I'll probably fit my flap. Fixing the car and all that shit. And uh, aye, we'll see what's stored fr for Friday. If I'm being honest, I've got a CPC course this Saturday, so if I'm off, I'm not all that bothered. Anyways, I've been called back at the hall though, because we need a new fifth wheel. This is meant to be my day off, and now I'm making decisions on lorries. <sighs>
I've got too much life left in it. Aye, right, let me try that again. So it's my day off and we're here, obviously doing a wee bit of the old uh, moving the lorry for Volvo back up to the yard. And it needs a new fifth wheel. Uh, next two months, basically, it says it's worn past its wear part, its wear or whatever it is. It says a new set of jaws, about 300 quid and it only lasts me a couple of months because the wear on the plate. Uh, it says it's basically just had a wee bit of a hard life. So whether that's been me, previous owner, probably me, uh, pretty much. Aye, that's it. So it needs a new fifth wheel. £1,500 for a new fifth wheel, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Can't even know about a fifth wheel, I need it. All those ones. Right, so here we are, back down to Volvo. Originally, uh, I obviously needed a new fifth wheel, and the only option I had was to wait a week until the new fifth wheel came in, and then go and get the fifth wheel fitted. Uh, talking to my big mate, big, big mate Scott, uh, Big, big Scott there was like, I put a set of jaws on it. The vo boys at Volvo are basically saying I give it two, three months out it, but Scott can act. I'm not going to say talking into it, at the end of the day, it is my lawyer to make the decision, but he advised me, and if I'm being honest, I think I agree with him. Put a set of jaws on it for three months, see how it goes. Obviously, if it needs a new fifth wheel, it will get the new fifth wheel, but just to save money now, just with the new trailer being bought there, funds are a bit tight, fixing the mirror the other day there, uh, it also needs to get sign written. But that is optional, but still a bit ne necessary just for advertising the company. So we're going to go back to the Volvo, leave her overnight tonight. She's off the road again tomorrow, which is shite, but it is what it is. At least will be nice and legal and safe. New set of jaws on it. I hope for the best for the next three, four months. We might get four months out of it, we might get two months, we might get six months. Obviously, every six weeks safety, I'll just be making sure they're checking it, and I'll also check it myself. And hopefully, I can get a wee bit longer at it, and then hopefully in three months' time, four months' time, I'm in a better financial point to do that. But fuck about. <laughs> my, my day off, my, my Thursday day off, it's pretty much been me driving up into Volvo and then obviously going to this wee girl's prom in an hour. Pretty much, aye, that's it. The car's all there sitting, getting validated, so that's good. Speak to sign rate, I'm getting that all. It's just, for a day off, it's just, it's been a day off, but not a day off. Planning and sorting stuff that I've been meaning to do, I've got merch orders to send out, shit like that as well. Let's say a day in the office rather than a day in the truck. But hopefully she's going back down tonight, she'll be ready Friday. We'll go get that sorted. Sorry I'm blabbering on again. Saturday she'll go down for a tachograph calibration at somewhere else. And uh, then she's all nice and legal, everything's nice and fresh. We're good to go. Jesus Christ, well, there we go. How's it going lads? We made a mess in here, I've only been gone a couple of hours. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three, go. Out that way, Doug. What a day, I need to get that car regassed. Just took that wee year out of our prom and I actually felt bad. That car is fucking roasted. The aircon is just completely dead and well, I've no drive. Oh well, I've been driving it all winter, I've no used the aircon, so I'm gonna go and regas it. I'll just regas it now. I'll just need to go in new gas. Yeah, hey, alright, food, enjoying that big man. Good stuff, bud. Good stuff. That's a long PO oh boy. But aye, that's pretty much it. So prom's done. The jaws on the lorry gets fitted tomorrow. Hope for the best. Hopefully I get it back early because I think Scott's got a wee job he wants me to do and I'm happily do the job because I need the money. And so far, Thursday day off. But now I need to go sort my red light. Ford, what are you doing? I need to go sort my red light fine. I got a red light ticket about three days ago now. So I need to go fix that. Now for another fun job. Putting the laundry out. Another job done, let's go fucking rear con this car. I've ordered new gas for Halfords. Let's get it. Alright lads, we've got it all hooked up here, down into that wee bit there. Cap off. It's CNC instructions, but I've not actually ran it yet. I've not turned the engine on. So I'm hoping that's not a sign of future problems. This video might just be me celebrate my new trail at the start. And then just problems all day. Alright, now she's running, we can do a wee test, we can see that she's down in the low. Which is good, that means we've not got a leak, and it means all we need is this new gas can we've been putting here. That's it, thanks. Sir. Christ. That's not worked. Which means my bigger issue, or my feared issue, is she's still going out to the air. And I had the door closed a moment, it's a 10 minutes of door closing that. I think I've got a leak. It's more money. More money. Alright, it's Friday. I'm uh, we're heading to work. Uh, just did a call for Volvo there. And basically, obviously, I dropped it off last night and they said they'd be able to do it today and then I could pick it up tonight, which I need to because it's going for its tachograph calibration on Saturday. 
and basically they've just phoned and said they've got a breakdown so there are two mechanics on the way out doing the breakdown and they don't know if they'll get to my lorry today I've had that, road, uh, that lorry off the road for two days not making money to fix it so that it's nice and road legal for them to turn around and say oh yeah now you need to bring it back another day so it's what it's been sat in Volvo all day today but like Thursday fair enough it was getting a safety eye but today it's just going to sit there and look pretty aye sorry so that's that I don't understand how oh fucking hell it's fucking stressful eh tell you aye bring it in tonight We'll get it sorted tomorrow, and then they phone you tomorrow, aka the day, and go, might not get it done. Just take my lorry off the road someday next week so you can maybe fix it. Fucking big jobs today. Big man's waiting my motor to get me rubber for the trailer. Now I'm waiting to get my trailer. But Scott's lorry, I tell you something, by the way, this is a fucking beige lorry, by the way. I, can, I could get a scanny. I'll tell you something for free, by the way. Quite like this scanny. This is a, this is a nice, this is a nice lorry. Downside is Volvo well, still don't have an update whether they'll get my lorry fixed today, so there's that. But we're still making money. I'm actually low key raging that one of the first lorries that gets to their job with my new trailer is in my fucking lorry. It's a wee bit raging though. It's oh, such a weird setup with this one. Oh, oh. We're just travelling up this wee road here, trying to find this 15 ton bolt. Look at the size of that house there, man. Holy sh. But uh, it should just be up here, it says over the brow of the hill. You should see it sitting. There she is there. Big wall up the back there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get this fucking reversed. I should have recorded that, but in this truck I don't have my usual equipment, but... Oh, reversed. First time using this, man. I can't believe I'm putting a fucking digger on it. Oh, press power, but I keep seeing rams going down before. That's no nice, eh? No fan of that. Fucking <laughs> GG peeps. Get <laughs> oh, to a dig up this fucking c oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Brand new trailer. I'm oh, putting a fucking digger up it. Oh, GG peeps. Boys, we are away. Oh, this is fucking some size of machine, eh? Oh, TV feet. I fucking love this job. I'm annoyed that I've put a, a, a digger up, but it's a, work oh, fuck. it's a working trailer, eh? It's gonna get scratched. It's just shit, it's his first day. It's fucking roasting it all. It's 32 degrees according to the scanning here. I just hope that's a fucking lie. Anyways, that's only going over to shots. She's on the back. Oh, a nice breeze. Easy, big man. For his first John, it's not getting an easy one. There we turn the boot and then I get. I tell you boys, this job would fucking bust you. Five o'clock Friday. We're here at the delivery site. We've just unchained. Uh, just before they close or the reception closes to ask how the update is in my lorry. I've no match to date today. So as much as it was maybe a bad thing for me to do, because it's no Volvo, it's no the it's no the staff's fault. Like the mechanics are only doing what they they can do. At the end of the day, if Volvo only provide them with three, or the, whoever runs that fucking place can only provide three mechanics. It's no the it's no the mechanics' fault. But they've no other chance to do it today. I'm trying to reason me, I'm here saying, look, listen, I'm just starting it myself. I've only got one lorry. I am managed to borrow Scott's lorry today, but can I just borrow Scott's lorry Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, however long it takes to do a fucking kit jock it? Just wait to see what it can do. Fucking <sighs> honestly, man. Something needs done about that place. It's three mechanics. And it's a shame because it used to be fucking brilliant. That's why we've always been there, because for the start it's always been good, but see since COVID, skeleton staff. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a Volvo, if it's Volvo trying to cut corners or if it's the boy that owns that like franchise of Volvo. I don't know how it works. Anyways, let's get a seeing machine off. Oh, It's not bad, this, eh? I'm spinning around, move out of my way. I don't know if that's how you turn these. I believe it is, but it just seems, it seems very rough. It seems very, very rough. It's so like rabbit mode. Was it a rabbit mode? Go fast, you cunt! No, I don't think these go fast. Oh, it's not that speed the whole way, is it? God wrenching speed, boys! I'm driving this for like half an hour. Aye mate, uh, just uh, move to the end of that there shed, no worries mate, I'll be there tomorrow. Right, she's on half an hour. <laughs> 
Oh, you still there? I was just looking at the key, I wish I'd plug my fucking lorry closer, but. Oh, too late now. Job done. Let's head for Perth. It's too warm for this shit today. On site. Not a fucking clue how to work this bit of kit, but I think we'll get there. Uh, oh, it's been so long since I've driven one of these. I remember when I got my ticket, it was fucking. Oh, what a. <laughs> oh, GD peeps, man. And then they put the machine up again. Oh, something's going up. Oh, that's the. Uh, I remember how this works. <laughs> GD peeps, man. There she is, all loaded, lovely, tidy, secure, safe, all that shit. It's 8 o'clock on a Friday, let's get fucking hay, my boys. Look at that for a fucking hay, boys. We are driving well into the night tonight. Fucking I want to empty the external light ports. It's quite nice and peaceful, I'm not going to lie. I'm just about to ruin it in about five seconds. Maybe not. That is one, that is one trailer by the way. Trailer, trailer. There we are. All beloved. Nice and safe. 1am. Let's get the road. Alright, so it is of course. I never able to see much, but it is 3 o'clock in the morning here on, well, Saturday morning. We're just about to de-hook the trailer and then park the lorry up. Then tomorrow we'll come in and deliver it back up the road. Um, because I've only got 20 minutes driving time left and Salzburg is... what, 45, 50 minutes? That's what it is. Alright, so that is the trailer all disconnected and the unit ready to go in the morning just to save a bit of time. But anyways, that is it for this week's episode. In fact, I've got a bit of CPC to do tomorrow. There's not really much point in showing that. Let's just sit in the classroom for eight hours learning about drink, driving and awareness. And that is at 8 o'clock, which is in six hours time. Well, no, less than that, but five and a half, five hours now. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And sorry about driving scanning. I'm kidding on. Thank you much for helping me. Properly help me out by letting me borrow this lorry for the day and hopefully we should get our Volvo back for Monday. Time will tell. But anyways, thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.